This one is about conflict. Conflict is something that it, it almost seems like it's a constant. Wherever people get together, it's almost inevitable. And why does conflict happen? You know, there are other species that seem to get along way better than, than we do. These are more the hive animals like bees and ants. You know, sometimes there's conflict there, um, but they seem to just get along because they have a singularity in purpose. And we people don't seem to know that singularity. <laughs> and so we fight for each other. And then we get caught up in just doing for ourselves. It's just so odd that we could be so lost and so far from some innate organic biological unity, you know, that we could drift away from that. It's just, it's amazing to me. And I've had some encounters recently that have, um, I found myself actually fighting with somebody and I saw, oh my goodness, I'm not that objective. I really got reactive. And what is it that pushed my buttons was when somebody, I felt like they were projecting their own stuff onto me and completely in denial that it was all about them, that it may or may not have had anything to do with me. Then I thought further about it, like, well, okay, well, why am I so reactive about that? Is it possibly because I do the same thing? Oh, no. And so then since then, I've really been uh, making my effort to be a little more conscious about what I see in others is really something within myself. And I learn a lot about myself by seeing these qualities in others. And then I get to make my choices about how much of that I will admit. And by admit, I mean let in. How much of that do I admit as in confess that it, oh yeah, that's me. What works for conflict resolution is when everybody owns their own stuff, makes amends for hurting the other person, and somehow also acknowledging the unity and stepping into the unity. That's what resolves conflict. You know, this whole Middle Eastern thing is going on, and yet these videos and memes of some Israeli Jewish kid and some Arab kid or have their arms around each other as just a reminder that the innocence and the togetherness is original and that all that other stuff is just learned. And I also want to state that when my focus is so interior, it's more obvious to me that peripherals are peripherals. I'm less prone to be reactive. You know, some people say, I meditate every day and I let go of everything and I just focus within. Then some people say, when I have my eyes open, I like to meditate while I'm doing things. But I believe that the highest standard of them all is I like to do things while I'm meditating because that shows that the focus is more anchored in, in into reality, into that inward realm. You know, that's the antidote to conflict. It just is. When I'm in that space, pretty much everything else is secondary. And I have that micro moment where I can disengage and not be so reactive. There are still things that push my buttons. And I'm learning, I'm learning. But that is the antidote to conflict. It is that space where live and let live. Everybody needs a little elbow room. We can celebrate our differences and not get so caught up in them. You know, in one way, we do have to live with everybody because we're on the same planet. But in another sense, I don't have to live with everybody. I get to pick and choose compatibility, et cetera, et cetera. Conflict. Is it really like the game of war, that card game, where the war is inevitable? Otherwise, that game would be foolish. And maybe that's the case. So I want to learn how to navigate those times of conflict wisely. I just really want to. It behooves me to. If I want a relationship, an intimate relationship that's sustainable, I have to learn how to navigate conflict gently, wisely, kindly. I, 
I have to, and I really I do want to, and I choose to. Sometimes it is fun to just be reactive and cut loose and be judgmental and all that, but pretty much that stuff backfires. It's the the system is is rigged, you know, against unconsciousness <laughs> conflict. It is a great pivotal point of learning about oneself. We think conflict is there because of other people, but it is not. It's because of our own inner state. Come on, you notice that too. I notice it. When I'm having a really good day and feeling good, somebody can cut me off in traffic and I will think, oh, well, they're probably having a bad day. Or even if somebody's actively more directly and personally not nice to me, when I'm in a good place, I'm less likely to be reactive. And I just want to feel one thing. I want to feel good. I want to feel love all the time. And so that's in that's in my hands. I have I have some tools. I know what to focus on. Conflict. Great lesson. Bye. <laughs>